with a with an incredibly heavy heart in the Eli Nishmos, the six hostages who were murdered just a short time before before their rescue. Hirsch Goldberg, Aiden Yerushalmi, Alex Labanov, Carmel Gat, Ori Danino, and Almog Sarusi. It's um you know, you see a little bit, and we have to, I, I want to I wanna get to our Gemara because I don't want to. But you know, you see, one of the most incredible things when you look at the plight of Am Yisrael is the impossible situation that we are often put in. Impossible. It's not just that we're murdered and butchered on October 7th. And it's not just that Jews, men, women, and children are taken hostage. But the impossible situations that, that we're put in, right? You see, you see now the, the, ma the strikes, the massive strikes that are happening, the massive protests. Right? So, and, and you understand that pe people want a hostage deal. But you know, on the other hand, on the other hand, we also see that it absolutely unequivocally emboldens our enemies. It, it absolutely does. When they see the fracture within our people, and they see the friction within our people, and they see that like the Rahmanas of the Jew is. Just give us back our loved ones. Enough, enough, enough. Just, just give us back our brothers, our sisters, our children. So it's like we, 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 we get into this impossible situation where if we want our people back, we probably have to sacrifice safety and security. And if we want safety and security, then we can't have our brothers and sisters back. What, what, other, what other people in the world is ever put in this type of situation? What other people in the world, do you understand the enormity of this, that these precious neshamas, they were alive on Erev Shabbos. They were alive on Thursday. They were, they, they were alive. They were alive. They, 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 our, our tfilos and our avoda to keep our hostages alive, it worked in such a beautiful... And, and then literally again, just moments, the achzorius, the sheer cruelty, the sheer cruelty of their captors is absolutely, could have just as easily said, you know, just go. Could have just let them roam free in the tunnels. What we're living through are times of, of not just adversity, but, but the, the most inhumane and the darkest type of human behavior that the world has seen probably since the times of the Holocaust. And all of it always inflicted upon our people. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't pretend to know what this is. The, these, the choices that our leaders in Eretz Yisrael have to make are the most overwhelming of choices. There's no, you know, it's easy to say, just bring them home at any cost. And of course, the, so the heart says, what do we have to give up? Whatever. Again, the, the decisions are, are, are overwhelming, are overwhelming. And it's easy for us to weigh in and to, to opine and to give our opinions on what should be done and what shouldn't be done. But I think for us, especially 6,000 miles away, our avoda, our avoda is to keep on doing whatever we can within our spiritual grasp, to keep on learning a little bit more, to keep on davening a little bit harder, to give more tzedakah, to do more chesed, to do whatever we can. Because the ray of hope that we had is that these precious neshamas were still alive. They were still alive. You know, you've, you've heard people say, there's no way the hostages are alive. And any time a person says that, I cringe at that because the power of the Jew is to never give up hope. The power of the Jew is to always keep the fires of optimism burning. And we see, and we see they were alive. They were alive just literally moments up until the rescue, moments up until our precious soldiers got there, which tells us that our avoda has the ability to do something. Our avoda has the ability to do something. And especially as we go into Chodesh Elul. And we go into Chodesh Elul with such a broken heart. Such a, the, the Leviathan that are happening today, the Leviathan for, for Hirsch Poland is happening at 9 o'clock our time today. And the Leviathan that are going to be happening, and you see the pictures that are coming you know, out from the first day of school. And again, soldiers who have fallen in battle have their commanding officers taking their children. To, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. But however, what it tells us is, is it's time to redouble our efforts. It's time, I know it's, you know, it, it's, it's Labor Day, and Baruch Hashem, we have a little bit of extra time in our hands today, hopefully. You know, use it. Okay, yes, relax and enjoy and spend time with your family, absolutely. 
but also add a little extra avoda. And Chodesh Elul is coming. We have to make this an Elul. We have to make this an epic Elul. An epic Elul because Kalal Yisrael needs an epic Elul. Because Kalal Yisrael needs a Yeshua. Because Kalal Yisrael needs a salvation. Because Kalal Yisrael needs us. The Ribbon Shalom should give an aliyah to the neshamas of these precious souls. An aliyah to the neshamas of these precious Jews. What they endured, what they suffered in captivity. Only they and HaKadosh Baruch Hu know. But there is no doubt that they suffered, but no doubt that they exhibited incredible strength, Herculean strength, to be able to endure whatever their tormentors heaped upon them. And that should serve as a source of inspiration for us. Clearly, so we could survive anything, and we do survive anything. Like we always speak about, the outcome, the outcome is not in doubt. The outcome is that Kalal Yisrael always emerges victorious. The only question is what will be the cost of that victory and how much pain will line the path of that victory. But it is incumbent upon us to daven for the neshamas, to daven for their families, to daven for Kalal Yisrael, to continue to daven for the remaining hostages. We cannot give up hope. We cannot fall into the grasps of Yeosh. We have to believe that some way, somehow, our remaining brothers and sisters will come home and will come back to their families. By whatever means we have to take, whatever means necessary, keep the fire of hope, the fire of optimism burning. Do our avoda, continue to do, continue to act. In Halavai Natsuchos, our hostages will come home. Our soldiers will be successful. The neshamas of those who we have lost. We should be zochah that before this year comes to a close, we should be zochah to be able to usher in the geula and to be able to usher in to welcome in Mashiach. Amen.